In this video, we'll talk about conditional statements. Now, basically what happens, you know, when you say your computer can think, of course, we have a lot of different technologies. Now we have AI, ML, right, which which can help your computer to think, right? Uh, we are saying AI will change the world. But if you go to very basic of AI or any computer, I can say AI is an advancement in terms of computer which can think. But if you can go to the base of it, we have one important thing, which is the flow is depend upon true or false. Example, let's say, let's say when you execute a code. So what happens is whenever you execute a code, the flow goes in this way. Let's say there's a flow going on and suddenly there's a point here. So let the, let's say at this point, so this is a flow of the code. And at this point you decide, okay, uh, if the condition, I mean, if based on something, if it is true, I will go this way. If it is false, I will go this way. Or maybe based on some other condition, I will go this way. So what happens, you know, your flow of your execution actually changes based on what you decide at that point. And even if you think about Tesla cars, which is uh, maybe any driverless cars where, which moves and based on some conditions, the speed will increase. The Based on some condition, the speed will decrease. Based on some condition, uh, the, the car will take a halt. What if there's an object in front of a car? At that point, the car will stop, right? So this is a point where it's decide, hey, it's time to increase the speed of a car. So maybe you can say, based on some condition, let's increase the speed of a car, uh, decrease the speed of a car, or stop the car. So based on some condition, you decide the another flow. Now, how will you do that in programming? And that's where we have this option of conditional statements. So what you do is you write statement, 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 and then you decide I will execute this bunch of statement based on some condition. So here we'll be having a condition. If the condition is true, and of course we have talked about Boolean values, we have seen uh, relational operators, logical operators, if you get true, you will execute this particular block here. I mean, this block. If it is false, based on something, I will execute this set of lines, right? So should we execute this lines or this lines will be based on your condition. Now, the way you can do that in programming with the help of if else. Now, this is similar to most of the languages. If you are coming from other, any other language, maybe you have seen this. If not, don't worry. I will talk about if else in this particular video. To understand that, let's head towards our code here. And as you can see, uh, we have uh, we have a demo code and uh, basically we're using the same file here. I want to basically do something based on a condition. So let's say I have a value of x here, which is eight, okay? A simple value. Maybe I want to print hello or buy based on some condition. So I will simply say system.out.print and then I will print x here. Okay. In fact, I want to I don't I want to print hello. And then I also want to print buy. So I can just reuse the code which I've written here with a proper indentation. Yeah. And then I want to say buy. Now, of course, if you execute this particular code here, if I say demo.java and run, you can see we got hello and buy both. What I want to do is I don't want to execute both the statements. I want to execute hello based on some condition. If that condition is false, I don't want to execute hello. I want to execute the buy statement. So at this point, I want to decide. Now, based on what? So for this example, I want to test based on the value of x. So I can say if the value of x is, let's say, greater than 10, maybe I'm just taking an example here. If the value of x is greater than 10, in that case, I want to print hello. So, and then if it is false, I want to execute the by, okay? Um, so maybe at this point, let me just comment this section. Let's say I just want to print hello only when the value of x is more than 10, okay? And to start with, let me set the value of x as 18, which is greater than 10. So what I want is at this point, we can dry run this, we can say, okay, the value of x is 18. So if you go for the condition, so if is a condition here, or it, it's a condition statement, it will check the point here, which you mentioned, or with the condition which you mentioned, if it is true, it will execute the statement or it will not execute the statement. Now, of course, that's true. So if you go back here and compile and run, you can see we got hello. So this is basically the syntax for if. So how with the syntax, we have to use a keyword called if. 
and then in the bracket in the round bracket you have to mention the condition see ultimately if is not concerned what type of operation you are doing here if is just concerned is it true or false so even if you give a true here if is basically happy okay so if don't want a operation there if says you give me true or false i will execute example if i say false here and if i compile run you can see it will it is not printing hello why it is not printing hello is because we are saying false so when if c is false here it says okay i don't have to execute the block whatever is written under if okay so there's a space here if you can see again that is optional even if you remove that that perfectly works because java is not dependent on any indentation uh, by any chance if you're coming from python in python we do that we give a tab uh, to specify that it's an it's a part of the if block in java we don't do that okay i could have simply used a meme from avengers you know it says we don't do, do that here okay anyway so we you can see we got false and we are printing hello that perfectly works i mean of course it is not working because we got false but if you make it true it will surely execute compile run and you can see we got hello right now uh, what if i just want to go back to my condition the value of x should be greater than 10 and for this as well of course we want the value to be true and it should print hello and it's working but what if the value of x is not 18 it's 8 which is false right 8 is not greater than 10 so it will give you false and that's where you will not see hello and you can see we don't have hello okay so that's how you can use if of course you can put multiple conditions here if you remember we have talked about logical operators so we can say uh, the value of x should be greater than 10 and i want one more operator and so i, I want two conditions basically and i want x to be less than 20 so i want the value to be in between uh, 11 to 20 i want 20 to be included so i will say equal to so the range now okay we can also comment something in programming with the help of double slash uh, which will not be read by the programming or the compiler so the value accepted value for a, uh, x now is from 11 to 20 uh, because we are saying greater than 10 which is the value about 10 which is 11 and less than equal to 20 which is including 20 okay and now i'm saying and here and let's make it 18 again so if you can see it will surely work and we got hello right so we can basically put multiple conditions but what if the value of x is 8 or maybe i can say 28 which is not less than 20 so this is true x is less than uh, x is greater than 10 that is true but x is less equal less than equal to 20 no that's not true so this will result in true and this will result in false so what what do you think the uh, end of result would be so true and false will give you false remember we have talked about that in some table in fact that table used, is called as a truth table okay so now what i would, what i want to do is if it is not printing hello i want to print by so i can just remove this and if i compile this code and if i run this code you can see we got by hello i mean the hello is not there because the condition is false but what if i make it 18 now of course that's true so what i want to do is i just want to print hello i don't want to print by because if you run this code and if you see the output we got hello and by both we don't want a by in this case so what you can do is if you want either this or this you can use uh, one more thing here one more keyword which is called else so normally if else works together you can you can also write if alone or you can say if else okay so there's a compulsion to have if when you when you want to use else okay else cannot be alone okay that works and now if i uh, compile this code and uh, run you can see we got hello but what if you make it 28 at this point we it will only go for compile run you can see we got by so that's how basically we can use if else so we have if we check for the condition and then we can also write else in fact in the next video in fact let's try to do one more example here so let's say i have the value of x as let's say 5 and i have a value which is y which is which is 7 okay so we got two values and maybe these two values are coming from the user 
So what I want to do is I want to print the maximum of these two. So if x is greater than y, I want to print the value of x. If y is greater than x, I want to print the value of y. So how do we do it? So basically I want to print the value of x and y. So I can say system dot out dot print ln and I want to print the value of x and let me just reuse the code. I want to print the value of y. But if I just try to print this without comp without checking any condition, it will print both. What I want to print is I want to print the greatest number from five and seven. So in this case, of course, this is a very simple examples and I'm just I'm on purpose taking simple examples is because at this point, it's important for you to understand the concept, not the complex operation, right? Uh, so what I can do is I want to print either I want to execute either this statement or this statement. So whenever you have this condition where you want to execute only one statement or some block of statements, always go for if else. So I can say if and I can check if x is greater than y, that's what we are checking, right? If this is true, I want to execute this particular statement. Else, I want to execute this statement. That simple, right? So that's how we can use if else. And if I compile and run, you can see we got seven. But if you would change the value, let's say if I make the value of x as eight, of course the output should be eight and that's what we got. Now one thing to remember here, whenever you have one statement under if or else, you don't need the curly brackets. And you can see we don't have it. But what if you have multiple statements? Example, let's say here, uh, the way we are printing x, let's say I also want to print uh, thank you. Okay, in double quotes, I would say thank you. Now you can see we have two statements inside if. So I want to execute this two when, the, when this condition is true. The moment you have two more than one statement, you have to make sure that you put the curly brackets. So you open the brackets and you closed it. And this thing will be very important whenever you have if or in future when we work with loops and some advanced concept as well. At that point, if you have multiple statements, you have to put curly brackets. If it is only one statement, you can skip it. Okay. So yeah, that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, before that, uh, let me just code and you can see we got the output. So that's it from this video. In the next video, we'll try to expand this logic more because in this video, we were able to compare two numbers. What if you have three numbers? That will be challenging, right? And if you want to, you can just try with three values without watching the next video. And let's see how you do it. See you in the next video.